Good morning and welcome to Beth Chatterley Gardens. Um, this is Leanne, she's one of the gardeners and she's going to show us how to do the Chelsea chop. Um, these are um, flocks and they haven't grown that much yet because um, it's been quite dry in this part of um, Essex for April and most of May actually. Um, but uh, it is worth doing because it will help them um, grow a lot more sturdy and we won't have to stake them. So um, Leanne, she's using shears, it just makes it a lot quicker. She's going to sort of start in the middle and basically take off a third to a half, depending on how tall the plant is. And also each group of plants, she'll um, sort of make a sort of slightly rounded shape, so sort of slightly shorter on the edges and taller in the middle and that way it sort of help, helps hold itself up. Every single stem has to be done because, which will probably go around afterwards with her um, snips if she can't find it, uh, she's got a few little ones. Because if they are left to grow, the others have been halted in their growth for a little for a little while, a couple of week or so. Um, whereas the others, even if they're small and short stems, will just continue to grow. And then you'll end up with the odd wispy one, suddenly much taller than all of the others. As you can see, it's pretty quick if you do it with shears. If you are a bit nervous, do them with snips if you like, but um, it's absolutely fine doing it like this. They, they grow back really well. The reason it's called the Chelsea Chop is because it's usually done during Chelsea week, which is this week. But um, there's quite a few things that we're not doing yet, simply, as I said, because it's been so dry. So we'll probably do those in the next couple of weeks if we get some rain. We also do it to um, some of the hylotelephiums or sedums that are in the gravel garden. We'll just tip those. It's basically done to stop things flopping over and you don't need to use um, any kind of stakes or pea sticks to hold things up. What it does do though is shorten quite a lot of um, the growth, which is what makes them sturdier and helps them branch out and create more flowers. But the result is, A, you get a shorter plant, B, you get more flowers, but the flowers will be a little bit smaller as well. So if you like the height of something, if you really enjoy the height of, let's say, a Helianthus Lemon Queen, um, stake it rather than Chelsea chop it. But you can, I mean, it will still get tall, but it won't be quite as tall and as sort of majestic. We used to Chelsea chop um, the Veronicastrums, um, which made them very sturdy, and now they do sp tend to splay everywhere, but the height of um, them is just lovely, so we've kept, we, we've sort of stopped doing those now. But it's good for any of the asters, um, Symphrotrichums, Dolingaria, um, sedums, anything that branches out really. So phlox, trying to think what else. I can't think of anything else. It will come back to me. But anything that branches can be Chelsea chopped. Any of the perennials. The other thing it'll do is make things flower a little bit later. So if you're very clever, what you can do is prolong a flowering season by chopping perhaps uh, the front and leaving the back, then the back will flower, and then the front will flower. Or we can do it the other way around, um, Chelsea chopping the, the back, and then the front will flower, you cut those down, and then the back will flower. Um, but either way, um, it does, it does work really well. So if you haven't got access to um, maybe some hazel twigs, or you just can't be bothered, then this is a really good way of doing it. I also understood that um, it's also might be known as the Chelsea Chop, I'm not sure about this, but um, that it was done by nurseries and people who are going to display at Chelsea um, well before Chelsea in order to hold back um, flowering for Chelsea, just to, um, if it's done at the right time, then plants will flower exactly when they, they're needed.
but as you can see it's a pretty quick job and these flocks will probably flower sort of July now um, I can show you the results and then we'll just have a bit of a tidy and then it's little ones like like this sort of one that if um we can either go around with the the shears and sort of cut in or go around with the snips if you want to be absolutely perfect but on the whole it's a pretty quick and pretty simple job um, for some it just helps everything become a lot sturdier and um, won't flop over in the rain and the wind. Thank you very much and we hope you enjoyed the demonstration. Thank you Leanne. <laughs>